Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a video what's been requested by one of you subscribers about how to do a setup. I ain't got a dedicated place to do recording in, but that will be coming. We're slowly doing the flat up, me and Chimp. But let's get into it. So first of all, you will need a helmet. I've got the HJCC91 Great helmet You can either have a Smart Headset built in to the helmet Now You can mount GoPros on the side of the helmet Top of the helmet You know but My personal favourite Is to go to a site which I'll drop a link In the description from Chin Mount With Chin Mount they ask for your helmet and then they make special mounts for it so this one's specially made with the C91 what sits literally just in there for some reason it looks like it's on the P on this camera but it's not but yeah so I can still get my fence and still act as because I like to use helmets uh, modular which mean the whole front of the helmet flip up. Most YouTubers will use a full face helmet. I find it easier for this, and I'll sh and I'll show you why. So if we move on, so what I do all my recording with at the moment is this GoPro Hero Three Plus. Nice little camera, does the job. I have spare batteries for it that you can buy off of Amazon so you can take them on the go and get more content great camera when well, you've seen the footage winter time mm, not so great it does fog up so but we're nearly out of winter so I have got some options I'm going to try to see if I can stop all that moisture from build up but yeah we'll see so yeah you're going to need one of these make sure you get a memory card I run. Oh, I dropped it now. I run this. Seems to do the job. So, this is the one you want. I'll see if I can find a link for it and drop it down in the comment. But yeah, so you need one of them. Alright, so now you've got your GoPro, you've got your memory card, you've got your helmet, you've got your mount, opening, chin mount. Best. Best in the book. Takes a while to come from the UK. Well, not from the UK, sorry. Takes a while to come from America. But it's worth the wait. And I think I've done a video on it. I'm not too sure. You have to check it out. But anyway, moving on to the case. This is just a waterproof housing case. You can buy skeleton cases which will have holes on the sides to access for the mics. But what I did. I put the GoPro in, drawed out the line where the mic would sit, right, and then it took me a while, but I sat there with a Stanley knife, cutting away, trying to make it deep grooves into it, so it's like forms in the plastic to snap. Not the best of jobs, but if you were to put this in, you'll see what I mean. Bear with me. I need to get really like a tripod for these videos. So as you see, when that goes in, that covers up most of the hole. And you see me out in the rain and everything. My GoPro has survived the rain because of this. I mean, if you want, you can go off and get some stuff to put around to seal it up a bit more. But I've had no issues. My batteries have survived. My GoPro is still going. And we've had some heavy rain. So, And it's only even when I'm not recording the GoPro. It's out in all weathers. I'm not even joking, but yeah, obviously, Mike, I have lost the little boom section bit, but this is the mic I use, it's only a cheap mic, oh, I'll see if I can still find it, then I'll put it up, but I just basically wrap it all in there. Now, <clears throat> with a full face helmet, a lot of people will route their mics to the side of their chin pad. Because I have a modular helmet, meaning 
put it below. That'd be a bit annoying with cable running from here into the cheek. Can you imagine how much loose cable you have to have hang? So what I do is, I have it here, I have it all wrapped around there, and then I undo this, and I'll put the mic in here. So if you just give me a second, and I'll set this all up to show you how it's all done and how it looks. Right, so now that's all on, as you can see. So the camera sits on there, you need to get the adjustment right, you know what I think. So when my helmet's on, I'm face down, it's like that. But basically, it sits in the chin mount like that, perfect. Have the mount always pointing down, let gravity be your friend on that, I say. Now, like I said with the mic, if I flip the helmet up, as you can see, no cables, the cables stay completely up there, runs in there, and it's tucked in there. Let's see if I can. I don't even know if you can see it through there. Lift the visor up, maybe. Mind the masking tape, guys. I'm painting, I've got a gloss place. Just there. See that silver thing? See, there's my mic. I think it's a neat, tidy setup. I think it looks good. I don't know. Anyway, let's jump back on the boat. Me and Karen will see you there. So now you've seen the setup on the helmet. So I'm going to talk a little bit about getting into content creative because a YouTube, per, uh, YouTube creator who I personally follow, who inspired me, to get into this you know he got me thinking about it and it's not as fun as you would have expected it to be I mean you make a video you're gonna feel great about it you're gonna spend some time editing it and the editing is gonna come with skill in time like you're gonna have to mess around with it practice new things see what works and eventually it will, like, you know, kick in. Let me just overtake this one. Right. Yeah, eventually it will just kick in. You will get the flow to the editing. You will get everything you need. I mean, it took me a year to get my videos as good and when I'm editing them I do sit there and think man I need to do a lot more to these videos right so uh, it's a learning curve for me now when it comes down to it you can put out probably about a hundred videos and only see your channel grow like one subscriber a month right and that can be heartbreaking when you get your subscribers and they grow up, it is an exciting feeling. Now, I want to stress, I'm not a big YouTuber, as you all know, 116 subscribers. I'm not big. I enjoy making my videos. And I think if you're going to make videos, you need to be having the free key thing. If you want to survive in this kind of thing. And this is coming from a YouTuber who's already discussed about this situation that is beautiful but yeah who's already discussed about this and he's absolutely right I mean if you want to make a living you ain't going to become a millionaire making murder vlogs there's probably other ways to get rich you know what I mean you could get yourself into a better like job career like plumbing electricians and all that like you ain't going to become rich I mean, it took me two years to build this bike, and I'm not even big. It's a good bike, it's an iconic 125 bike. But, I'm not big. I've got a lot of support, and that is what I'm in it for, is the support. But you need three key things. And the three key things you need is, one, 
you got to have a passion for motorbikes. And if you're watching this, then obviously you must have a passion for motorbikes. Especially when it's like a 125, when you could be sitting there watching, you know, like BMW M1000s. Do you know what I mean? The S1000s, the H2s, the Ducatis. Do you know what I mean? But you, you, you're watching, you're watching a Norfolk boy riding around on a 125. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I respect that because it's not just going to be 125s. Like I say, this channel's always been about my journey on two wheels, and that journey is going to increase onto different bikes, passing my bike test. I'm hoping I can record all that, but once again it all costs money people, I work but I'm not rich, but yeah, if you're going to do this, you got to have passion. Number two, if you're going to do this, man, you got to be, you got to be like consistent with it, you can't just think, oh, I'm going to do this and then just like not bother with it I mean sometimes on my channel I'm a little bit behind on editing but that's because we make such long videos every weekend now doing loads of random stuff that there's a lot to edit through sometimes I can make little short videos and all that and then get them out but it's the big main ones where we go out every weekend what takes the time so you got to have a passion into making videos, I'm not going to lie. Like, if you don't like making videos and it becomes like a ball ache for you, like, it's probably not the right thing for you to be doing. And number three, if you're going to be, you know, and you're thinking about becoming a content creator, you need to have a business head. Because at the end of the day, down in front of them all yeah I mean you gotta think business wise if you're gonna make a career out of this you gotta think you know YouTube don't pay a lot a lot of youtubers will tell you this it's not as glamorous as what the lives on the camera you lot are all watching seems you gotta have a business head it's like me I mean if I get quite high up and all that I'm gonna want to get into making merch I want to get sponsored do you know what I mean so I could do like other things like get discount codes and everything to help all you people out like, so you have to have a business head on it and you have to be thinking constantly I'm always thinking about every day even when I'm at work I'm sitting there constantly thinking well maybe we can make a video on this maybe we can make a series on that do you know what I mean I, I'm constantly thinking because it's even though I'm at work every day grinding I'm still in, at work in so to speak when I'm out of work I tell my family this as well I say I do work but I work more than what you think I say as soon as I swing my leg over at this bike not all the time sometimes I just go out for a ride for myself but when I swing my leg over this bike it's work I'm working but it's not like a oh I hate this I'm going to work feel it's a uh, I enjoy it do you know what I mean it's more of an excitement Oh, I 
it up, Karen. She comes alive all the time. Karen is great. Yeah, so as I was saying, you know, you have got to think business. You have got to think constantly about what your next thing is. Now, you can get ideas from other YouTubers, like, but don't copycat them because no one likes a copycat. Make it yourself, make it your own. Don't copy the words, you know what I mean? Make it your own iconic video. There's hundreds of videos out there. I mean, if I could give you a tip and trick on a video what to make, uh, which will probably generate you quite a lot of views in a hurry. If you're on a 125 bike, like, just go over and make a, um, how to make my 125 faster. People love that video. Honestly, there's tips and tricks on how to grow your YouTube channel and you must do what uh, I do research in everything. To build this bike research. To work on another bike research. To find out things I didn't know, research. And that is what I do with anything I, I'm getting myself into. Research, research, research. Because there is nothing better than knowledge, guys. Knowledge is power. And that's what you all gotta remember. Learn these things. There are hundreds of videos on YouTube teaching people on content creating. If you're willing to go out there and do the research. But yeah, guys. I hope this helps all of you out there, if you're thinking about getting into it. Like I said, I'm not trying to discourage anyone from being a content creator. I'm just letting you know, like, the camera doesn't always show what goes on behind the scenes, you know what I mean? The amount of hours you have to put into it, and the brain work that comes there every day, if you're dedicated to it. But yeah, guys. Anyway, anything else that you want to know, drop it in the comment section down below if I missed anything or I haven't covered something. But for now guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, guys. Right